Washington at the Cowboys, our last matchup that we have to take a look at. And we've got to shout out this Cowboys defense, folks. Of course we do. Now, is this defense? And remember, folks. Why we put the Dolphins in Super Bowl contender category. Why we have this Colts team in Super Bowl con uh, contender category. Why even, you know, a partial reason. It's not the main reason, like the, the Dolphins and the Colts. But why we also have the Eagles in Super Bowl contender category is because of the defense. Defense wins championships. Folks, y'all have heard that saying. Offense sells the tickets. Defense wins championships. And defense truly does win championships. We just saw that last year. Patrick Mahomes, go, so great. Slinging the ball. Sidearm. Rolling out of the pocket. Slinging the ball deep to Tyreek Hill. Slinging the ball to Travis Kelsey. He was great all last regular season. But what happened in the Super Bowl? They faced the Bucks, and that Bucks defense played the game of their lives, making Patrick Mahomes run all over the field where nowhere to throw the ball, and the Chiefs lose, the offense loses the Super Bowl, the defense wins the Super Bowl, and we know this Cowboys defense is the best thing about the team. Now, the offense is still good, we're not knocking the offense, but we're going to watch the defense here in our film study, and we're going to decide, is this a Super Bowl contending defense? Can we take the Cowboys out of their current spot of playoff contender and can we move them into Super Bowl contender just purely based on the defensive performance that we just saw against Washington so let's watch the defense here let's watch the highlights and see if we can move this Cowboys team into Super Bowl contender category based on what we see by the defense and we knew the defense was fantastic folks it's a five my goodness five minute highlight tape here for this Cowboys defense folks I uh, uh, what have we seen? I mean, all those quarterbacks that we just watched in our film study today, I mean, I don't think anybody had five minutes. I think jo Josh Allen may have had five minutes, but man, oh, man. Uh, so this defense, we know it's great, folks. They were getting it done. Two interceptions by Taylor Heineke. I think he fumbled. They had uh, so many sacks and tackle for losses. So this is going to be a nice way to close the show here. Uh, Five-minute defense of the Walk of Fame defense highlights here, folks. Are y'all ready for this Cowboys team? Are y'all ready for this? I'm ready for this. Here we go. Walk of Fame defense, folks. Watch. Grab your popcorn because it's so gosh dang good. So here we go. Five minutes of purely uninterrupted Cowboys defense starts now. Here we go. First play up, Taylor Heineke. He's going deep. Is this smart? No. Because you're throwing to Trayvon Diggs. What are you nuts? What are you nuts? Taylor Heineke, what are you doing? What are you doing trying to challenge Trayvon Diggs? That's what you, you watched all the tape to prepare for this game. And you're like, you know what? But first five minutes into the game, when I get my mitts on the ball, I'm going to test Trayvon Diggs. What are you out of your gourd? Are you out of your gourd, Taylor Heineke? You just lost the starting job. If I was Ron Rivera and I saw this, I pulled this man instantly. You watched film all week, and we just faced this team. We just faced this team, what, two, three weeks ago, and you watched film on Trayvon Diggs, and this is your second time around watching film on Trayvon Diggs, and this is what you decide to do with one of your first First throws of the game. Challenge the man. Challenge number seven, Trayvon Diggs. Are you out of your gourd? And this is disrespectful by Taylor Heineke. Hey, this is an awful ball. It's way too much inside. you got to get this ball on the sideline. So, first of all, it's a bad throw. Uh, so, Taylor Heineke. I don't even want like Aaron Rodgers testing Trayvon Diggs on a daily basis, on a on a throw by throw basis. And here we get Taylor Heineke throwing an absolute duck to one of the greatest corners of the game currently, folks. Let's watch this. We'll watch it right here. Watch the technique by Trayvon Diggs. Reads it perfectly. Keeps up stride by stride by uh, Terry McLaurin. Has great positioning. And then Taylor Heineke just throws this ball absolutely poorly, way too much inside. And that's just too easy by Trayvon Diggs. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Next play up. Taylor Heineke is trying to test defensive linemen this time. Here we go. Number 90 with the pick six, folks. Once again, just too easy right here. Can't even get the ball high enough to get it over the line of scrimmage. You throw a pick six to a lineman? Are you trash? And this is after an interception when you trust Trayvon Diggs. When you test Trayvon Diggs. Did you not even study anybody on this walk of fame defense? Look at that, Demarcus Lawrence. That's just way too easy peasy. Lemon squeezy right there. 
I mean, everybody's getting into the mix here of the Walk of Fame defense, folks. This is why it's the Walk of Fame, because is there only one star on the Walk of Fame? Of course not. That would be the Step of Fame. This is the Walk of Fame defense. It's everybody. It's corners. It's linebackers. It's defensive edge rushers. It's everybody. It's linebackers. It's Micah Parsons, who's a hybrid linebacker edge rusher. So it's the Walk of Fame because it's all 22 or it's all 11 defense or de starting defensive players here by the Cowboys and they still got some on reserve as well some stars that they can lay down to make that walk a little bit longer and here we go just to Marcus Lawrence keeping up with Taylor Heineke Taylor Heineke thinks he can escape because he's faster than Demarcus Lawrence and no you're not no you're not no you're not Taylor Heineke what are you doing in this game you're trying to out throw Trayvon Diggs you're trying to outrun Demarcus Lawrence you're trying to not get sacked here by Micah Parsons it's not gonna happen I don't know what you did to prepare for this game I don't understand why you felt so comfortable um, because the Cowboys offense was so trash in the first meeting that the game was close. That gave you confidence to ball like this in Jerry World? Oh my goodness. Taylor Heineke. I think I lost a little bit of uh, little respect and some value on Taylor Heineke on how he came out and handled this performance. Disrespectful, folks. Here we go. Getting chased from behind right here. Uh, number 27, we get J. J Ron Curse. I mean, another corner. Fantastic. Corner blitzes, corner picks. Uh, you know, number one corner, number two corner. They're deep, folks. It's the walk of fame. Walk of fame defense right here, folks. Oh, man, oh, man. Just too easy right here. Taylor Heineke trying to step up in the pocket, and Kerr says, uh-uh, you're getting down for the sack. Here we go, third and six. They're down 42-7. to seven. You got to you gotta move the six here, Taylor Heineke. You got to extend this drive. And he throws it about two yards short of the first down, and the Cowboys' walk of fame defense is there to break up the ball regardless. Here we go, Taylor Heineke. Nowhere to go with the ball, trying to escape the pressure. He tries to escape one, two, three, but then there's four, five, and six, and they bring him down. Easy peasy. They are just absolutely... Absolutely destroying Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke, look, he's about to cry, folks. This man looks like he's about to cry right now. Fuck. Ron, Ron, can you get me out of here, please? Get Ron Rivera, can you get me out of here? And not only is this defense terrorizing Taylor Heineke, he's terrorizing the entirety of Washington's special teams by blocking the punt. Taylor, They can't even just have Taylor Heineke knee the ball three times and then punt it away. No, no, no. They, <laughs> the punter is blocked right here. Who blocks this punter right here? Off the edge. What do we got? Do I have his number here on my little cheat sheet I got? I don't think I do. What is that, 53? 59 with the recovery. This is 32. 32 with the block? Clement? Oh, my goodness. Get it, get it, Clement. Yes, yes. Fantastic. All right, here, here we go. Back to terrorizing Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke throws the ball, and that's broken up over the middle on fourth and one. Taylor Heineke, you couldn't be clutch for one play. You couldn't get it done for just one play on fourth and one, trying to get some momentum heading into next week, where luckily you don't have to face a defense as good as this. I, at least I don't think. I don't know who Washington has this week, but we know Walk of Fame defense is one of the best defenses in the league. All right, here we go. Another one. One more terrorization for Taylor Heineke. Taylor Heineke stepping up in the pocket. But when you step up in the pocket, you should know you're going to be brought down the next second. Brought down from behind here. Taylor Heineke just gets the ball out of his hands quickly here uh, because he doesn't want to get terrorized. So he lets Adam Humphreys get terrorized on a wide receiver screen. This isn't even Taylor Heineke anymore. They bench Taylor, they, they bench Taylor Heineke. He's playing, getting knocked, knocked around around too bad they send in Kyle Allen to take all the hits and all that so it doesn't matter who you put out there they're terrorizing everybody walk of fame defense folks the best defense in the league and absolutely absolutely folks I mean is there any question of course this Cowboys team is Super Bowl contenders congratulations I think this is one of the uh the only teams so far that we've upgraded actively Cowboys go from playoff contender to Super Bowl contender because of that Walk of Fame defense. Man, oh man, is it amazing. Holy cow. Woof.